The recent policy and pricing changes over at ebay.com continue to anger and distance many of the registered sellers on the site. Uh, I have spoken to some power sellers though who are saying uh, that they disagree with this outrage and that all sellers need to do is learn how to adapt uh, to these changes uh, to continue to profit and benefit from eBay. You've uh, got to understand that if you go over to the forums now at eBay and scan them, you'll quickly be able to see how upset many of the users are uh, about these changes. There's been the pricing structure change, uh, the feedback policy change, and the digital goods policy change all happening one after another over there. Uh, and the anger, because of these changes which came so quickly and so many at once, uh, the anger is probably understandable, but uh, some of the power sellers are saying definitely not necessary. Uh, yes, many sellers will have to adapt their business models to accommodate these changes, but at the same time, sellers have to realize that it is a business and change is necessary for growth in any business, for both eBay as a company and for the individual sellers themselves. There's three tips that all the sellers should keep in mind, uh, especially those who are fearing the worst right now. I'd like to go into those for a moment. Uh, the first tip would be stop complaining about the changes. Uh, it's a waste of your valuable time that you could be spending on adapting and growing your business. eBay has made their decision based upon their financial research. And remember, eBay has a much larger resource pool to draw on than any individual seller using the site, so chances are they know what they're doing. Secondly, you need to keep up to date. As a seller, you need to keep up to date on the changes, and you do this by networking with the other power sellers. And there is a lot of noise on the eBay forums from users who are complaining, but meanwhile, Despite all this negativity, negativity that you hear, this anger that you hear, there are plenty of successful power sellers who have adapted and they're continuing to grow their business and profit using eBay despite these changes. You want to seek out uh, these quiet and successful power sellers and network them, uh, network with them to share ideas on what's working. And for a final suggestion, no matter what you sell on eBay, what your business model is using eBay, you can always always increase your sales by implementing and testing uh, tried and true marketing techniques. Uh, many eBay sellers continue to overlook the simple tweaks they can make in their listings uh, that will increase their final sale prices and the number of sales they can make. And these are techniques that are not dependent and not affected by the type of changes happening in eBay. These are simple techniques that can more than offset uh, any losses stemming from the recent company uh, changes. Uh, and I would recommend any seller interested in staying up to date on those type of techniques visit richbyebay.com. You'll see the URL embedded here in the video uh, to find the answers you need. Hope these tips will help any of the power sellers over at eBay who have felt upset or distanced from the recent changes. Uh, take heart. Uh, you might have to put a little more effort in. You might have to adapt a bit, uh, but get on top of your marketing. A network with the power sellers who continue to be successful and you should be able to get your business back on solid footing again.